Henry Shaw Font also inspired that because he was a sculptress and worked with big, huge stone blocks. <gasps> so I was like, that's cool. I want to do that one day. You know, it's Henry so Shaw Font did that. He used to do. Yeah, he actually, he was a sculptress first. Yeah, you know, like did did photography, like kind of on the side. So what happened was when he was going out to get inspiration to do his sculpturing, he went out and took pictures, went down in the tunnels, took pictures, and trains were going by. And then when he got the film developed, that's when he started really noticing and recognizing the art on the train. Mm -hmm. And that's when he started showing these photos to other people. And they're like, we want to buy those photographs just for the artwork that was on the trains. So that's when he started getting involved in just taking pictures of the trains for the graffiti thing. That's when the whole doors opened up with him, with Jack Stewart, that photographer who took pictures before him. Mm -hmm. He was around. I guess Jack Stewart was also went to Europe and left, and he had shots from like 1967 to like 71. Wow. And I was like, it was like a real... It was a show that he was showing Henry Chalfant. I was lucky I was on a train that day, and Henry was like, "Hey, you want to see some photos from Jack Stewart?" And I'm like, "Yeah, yeah." <laughs> went up to his studio, and he had a slideshow for us. It was about like two hours long, and it was just one shot of old trains, old graffiti that I, writers I never even heard of. And I was like, "Fuck, this is like wow. another generation I never even heard of." You know, that I'd hear about from Comet, you know, mm. or Blade would tell me these stories. But this guy actually had photographs of him. I was like, rare. Wow. Yeah. Super so rare. Like, then that's when Henry Chalfant started realizing like he was now part of one of those eras. And really, yeah, he cataloged a lot of artwork. Yeah. Which a lot of people weren't at the time. Yeah. I mean, it goes without saying that Star Wars was a define a, a definable moment in, in in an era of graffiti, and it it brought it brought it brought the art form out to to the to the public in such a um, it, it, it was it was a magnum opus of a of an event. What was the first time you saw it, bro? I saw, <laughs> I mean, I was I was young, but like I was late, obviously, because I'm I'm younger. But I must have seen it when I was about. 19 18 19 and it just yeah. i think what it was was it, it wasn't just the graffiti because you know I, I was into hip-hop I I, I I knew there was a correlation there obviously with graffiti and, and hip-hop but when you have it in a documentary like that it's like a ready built package here have this world <laughs> do you know what i mean yeah, like phase two, I'd bump into him like he'd be spinning records with grandmaster flash some Somewhere in the ghetto, we'd be down in the South Bronx, and everybody's like, hey, Phase Two's up the block. He wants to meet you. He's jamming right now, Flash. And I'm like, oh, cool. You know, so like, let's go to this little party in the middle of the projects. That's you know? crazy. Crazy. 